All right, Shalom. I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Those are the men that taught us this truth through the Spirit and peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. This is the brother Abadi from the GMS Houston camp. And I got a quick scripture to go into. This is Proverbs chapter 10. In verse 30, it says, the righteous shall never be removed. Now, let's deal with who are the righteous. The righteous are the Israelites. Let's look up this word righteous real quick. And it, it goes back to Strong's H6662. And the uh, the Hebrew word is tazadak. Yak. And it says just, lawful, righteous, just righteous, just right, just righteous in conduct, character, righteous as justified and vindicated by the Most High, right, correct, lawful. So the Israelites were given the laws, statutes, and commandments to be just to do the right thing to do the, the the correct thing to live lawful in the eyes of the most high okay and ultimately you know we're going to get the new, once we get the new covenant which is the law statutes and commandments programmed in our makeup for lack of better words uh, programmed in our minds I say that then we're going to uh, uh, be righteous, meaning we're going to keep the laws perfect. Okay. Now let's go back to the verse. It says the righteous shall never be removed because we, we're entering into a time where it's about to be a transition in rulership. The righteous is going to rule this planet forever. OK, and the righteous have always been here. Now, the so-called white man, which, according to the scriptures, one of his titles is the wicked. His agenda is to remove the righteous or in other words, remove the Israelites off this planet. All you have to do is read Psalms, the 83rd chapter, and it talks about how Edom and the other nations want to want to make uh, or came together so that the house of Israel can be no more in remembrance. I'm just roughly paraphrasing. And ultimately, they want to get Israel out the way so that they can have the blessing. They can get their, the blessing, which is to inhabit uh, or rule this planet Earth with uh, no interference. Let's go back to the verse. It says the righteous shall never be removed, but the wicked shall not inhabit the earth. And that's according to the book of Obadiah. You know, it's only one chapter. So you can say the first chapter, the only chapter in the 18th verse. Okay. The Most High is going to exterminate the wicked, which are the so-called white people that go back to uh, Esau Esau Edom okay that's what's ultimately going to happen in the grand scheme of things the Israelites are going to rule this planet earth according to the law statutes and commandments and they will live perfect meaning they will we will be perfect on this earth no more sin within the nation of Israel and the so-called white man has been trying so hard to get rid of Israel. He's the one that's not going to inhabit the earth. So we'll live forever. And then eventually after he serve out his punishment, he will be uh, exterminated off the earth. And that's scriptural. Obadiah. Let's, let's get Obadiah real quick. No.
Obadiah 1 and 18, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them, and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. Lord willing, this video was edifying. Until the next one, Shalom.